welcome in. We're we're watching the second part of Elden Ring, the incorrect summary, the king and the serpent. Chat, say hi to YouTube, please. Fine. <laughs> Wow, is this what you want to show YouTube? Is this what you want to show YouTube? My jungle physics? Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Yeah. So the first one was a wild ride. We learned about Renala. Renala. And yeah, now we get past that part. I don't even remember uh, what happened at this point in the game at all. But let's watch. Do not play this video in the dark. It is very scary. Uh, the lands between. Why? Rawr. Why? I start the video and everything happens. Why is it? Why is this? We're in the land betweens. The land of the in-betweens. The in-between my butt cracks. Okay, let's continue. So beautiful. So tranquil. <gasps> Until I showed up. Welcome back, everyone, to Elden Ring, one of the games of all time, featuring Even deep role-playing mechanics, riveting combat, <gasps> cool math games, happy math! Recalls, and probably a story so convoluted that entire YouTube channels exist just to tell you about it. I do not know. I mean, this video is to tell you about it. So, is this like a meta? He's talking about how there's the videos about how to that that talk about Elden Ring lore. Is his video also talking about Elden Ring? Because content, you know, I'm just gonna cut that shit off, right? I just added that out. <laughs> I don't know much about the lore, but I do know one thing. Melania is definitely the blade of Mikola. When we last I love left Melania. Off, we endured great pain and suffering. Oh yeah, we were suffering. Percy Jackson. But do not worry. The oh yeah. Only... The last video stopped, ended with Radon. We beat Radon. We beat Radon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually don't remember struggling too much at Radon, but I heard that I fought him after the nerf, which made me upset because I wanted to fight him before the nerf. And then it was not possible. So I could not show off my skills. We just begun. And if you somehow haven't seen the first part, then uh that's Shout fine. Out to I have also seen the JoJo. Of so Lord. with the Elden Ring Power shattered Power. and scattered among America's inbred dipshits, it's time to tear our way through enemies of plenty, attempt to find a girlfriend <gasps> almost impossible, girlfriend! and test the true strength of my hardware. Because this will be our greatest challenge yet, and also the easiest challenge for the rest of the game. Now we dance. We dance. Daddy, I mean, ma what? Mommy, mommy, say what? Part two, Last the king of the serpent. Clinton copyright infringement fair use edition. We struggled to take grandpa off his life support with violence, delivered Garfield his precious lasagna, and finally... Forever scuffed. What are you talking about? I'm not scuffed. I'm not scuffed Convinced at all. Joseph Hussein Biden to end it all with nuclear fire. I'm dead serious. Wow, that was a fucking crazy. I better fast travel to the third impact Evangelion. We're moving at a real breakneck speed. You know, just when I was thinking this game can't possibly get bigger, it gets significantly bigger. I'm not sure if the developers are okay, especially since they're trapped in the same room as- You know, when you get to Redon, it feels like the game is over. You're like, that's so much. I did so much. And then there's just more game left. There's just so much game. How, like, Elden Ring is so f long. I, every game needs to be at Elden Ring's level of, of amazingness. Because, like, it just has so much. It's, like, never ending. Never ending. So I don't know if I'll be able to, if I start the game, I don't know if I'll be able to finish another playthrough before the DLC, but who knows? Maybe I'll be better and I'll run through things better. That man. It turns out nuclear weapons are a great way to excavate the earth and there are no long-term consequences, which means Bad, we've got an entirely new area to explore. Oh yeah! Just our feet. And no, we're not going to visit the Blue Man group again. I still have the nightmares. Wait a second. This is Michigan. Hi, I need to leave DLC. as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Lord ah, it's a woman. I'm yes. possessed of four <gasps> arms. Right. That is what tickles thy fancy? Is this the first time he met Ronnie? I met Ronnie like two seconds into the game. Also, what is this picture? Is this why people like Ronnie so much? I mean, redacted. Is this why men like Ronnie so much? 
Ingles can. Art thou of no more brain than stone? Can you speak English? Can you throw yourself into a wood chipper? Listen, I have never seen a Caucasoid run that fast. They kept yelling, go white boy, go. Okay. <laughs> I shall need thy help to run my errands. May I ask why? No, I'm going through a tunnel right now. Your signal's hey! I apologize for that. I may not have known at the time, but this was the beginning of an absolute rabbit hole. One that would lead me to dangerous and disturbing territory in the future. This shit makes mm -hmm, Blighttown look like mm -hmm, a playground. Mm -hmm. Welcome everyone to the Nether Fortress. It's three rooms long and filled with naked and hostile cry. women, which you is my preferred enemy. Out. I've always wanted to be a police officer. This is just like my favorite Japanese anime Kill the Cats. And if that's a little <laughs> too intense for you, don't worry. There are dozens of skinwalkers waiting around every corner. Just knowing that makes me feel very comfortable. But my favorite enemy in the entire level is in in fact, myself, me, oh, I yeah, am the boss baby. of the level. Hey, what's up guys, Max over here. We're out here going after Shadow Peter Pan. I'm forced to fight the only bitch that I trust. Gonna lay a fucking <laughs> smack down on Dark Link. This battle is a unique concept to say the least. It perfectly copies and uses- It's not a unique concept because you just talked about Shadow Link and literally that's who- You also got to fight Shadow Link. And in Kingdom Hearts 2, you get to fight Shadow Roxas. This is not a new concept, but they did a really good job because basically your mini-me plays as a better version of you because they know how to play the game. So my build was great. My mini-me always killed everything. This is your entire inventory. And yes, this does mean you can unequip your weapon and laugh at him for the whole fight. He literally ah! cannot damage me in this state. Not that you would need it, because if there's anyone in the world who knows how to keep me down, it is myself. This boss's <laughs> weakness is naked anime women, but overall, it was a great experience taking revenge upon the man who- <laughs> Magzor has confessed his weakness is naked anime girls. <sighs> so I am his weakness. Who ruined my life. Unfortunately, as a result of that battle, I have destroyed- <gasps> a part of myself. I have killed my artistic integrity. Hey guys, I built an entire torture chamber for animals in hardcore Minecraft. And if you want to see how I exterminate the innocent, stick around until I kill my son. I feel like if you showed this video to a Victorian child, he would die instantly. And speaking of dying, we've returned again to Jump Scare Junction. That's right. I feel like this area was so long ago. It feels like a fever dream. It's like, well, I remember this. That was so long ago. That was like two years ago, I swear. I lied to you. I give door of the wrong directions. This area is an identical copy of the last time, complete with the same puzzle, the same enemies, and the exact same boss, mm -hmm, but this time mm -hmm. he's glowing, just like this video. Now don't get me wrong, I love beating Canadians to death, but why? Please do not subject me to more Canuck and boss torture. Now as for the rest of the area- I hated that glowing one. I hated that glowing one so much. That glowing one made me rage so much. The first one, the non-glowing one, I think I beat it like second try, easy peasy. That glowing one, I was so angry. Area, it's pretty nice, you know, kind of short, introduces the brand new sapient sphere type enemy. That's okay though, I too have seen steel ball run. But what I really want to find is this knife, which is a surprise tool that will help us later. With this, I may now cause many kitchen nightmares. Let's uh, go talk to someone who actually knows what's happening right now. Not you, <laughs> though the alternative isn't much better. Hey, hey, Tarnished. Yeah, hi. I, I still can't believe I took me forever to meet this dude. I never went in that room. I am... Um, I don't talk to NPC. I see you've come to me with LondonBinKnife.png. So you know what it is then? No, but if you desire a <laughs> refund, I must redirect you to Ronnie the Witch in her Karian call center. Only then can you rebate your purchase. Oh, I I love Ronnie. Oh, I've met Ronnie before. She's, uh, interesting. But I must warn you, Tarnished, the mm. temptation of a blue gash is strong beyond belief. Uh... I, too, have felt the call of her puppet hands upon my tackle. Just imagine, Tarnished, what those four armpits must smell I'm like. going to leave now. Welcome, Comprehension. A land of the hands, as it were. The Finky Dingy. Making my way here was a treacherous affair. I had to dodge the magical artillery using my immense skill. <laughs> this place, however, is anything but safe. <gasps> I would describe it a bit like the SpongeBob perfume department. You simply need mm -hmm. to get through it, but you will mm -hmm. lose a part of yourself. Mm -hmm. There are hands mm -hmm. everywhere, in the ground, on the ceiling, and within my nightmares. They are 90% of the enemies, and the remaining 10% kind of remind me of myself oh, in a really no. strange way. My oh, name is no. Yoshikage Kiryu.
Kira. I'm 23 years old and making YouTube videos. As it turns out, the Queen of Caria going insane in Hogwarts had implications for the kingdom, and one of those implications, uh, kind of, kind of slaps. You know, like a ham. I too would kill myself if I was written by J.K. Rowling. I can't even search for pictures of normal knuckles on Google because I keep getting this fucking echidna. Human knuckles just makes it worse. Now, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So after Hands. dealing with my Oni-chan and killing the only normal people for miles, the game just gives up and has us fight a ghost instead. Oh, that boss was cool. I've always wanted to kill a white woman. Also, I'm available at this address. This fight is actually an iteration of the previous Tree mm -hmm. Sentinel boss, so mm -hmm. it's a really good thing that I beat him. You could say I have a lot of practice with the moveset. This time, however, we've, no, 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 no. we've got a copious amount of magic, even greater speed, and a horse ghost, which implies that there is a horse hell. Horses don't belong in the battlefield. They belong in the McDonald's menu. I can't even turn what? the bastard into glue anymore. This is just like George Orwell's Animal Farm. In summary, this boss is good, but nothing we haven't seen before or will see in five minutes. The magic earns her a really comfortable spot in B tier right next to herself, but that is- I do agree. Because Elden Ring is so big, there is a lot of repeats on bosses where they take bosses and they just like repeat them, but not in a bad way. Like, I don't mind it. It just adds like, oh, you get to try this boss again. You know, it's like those games that allow you to refight bosses. I don't- I'm not- I'm not upset that there's multiple repeats of the same boss. It's a big game. I'm okay with that. Here's a story for uh, part 19, so for now I'm just gonna send her to a farm upstate. Mm -hmm, By the way, mm -hmm. I've played this game for uh, 130 hours and uh, haven't <gasps> slotted a spell. Now as a full metal consequence of my vehicular manslaught arena, we have finally- I am exactly the same way! I played the whole game without a single spell! <laughs> <laughs> unlocked Ronnie's Rise and my favorite part of the game, Ningyo Romansu Shimureta. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the writing on this one. I just don't really care for the uh, blind art who meets the classroom. But to get to that, we have to fight the most dangerous and powerful boss of them all, the Copy Paste Key. If we can teach magic to fucking dragons <gasps> and dogs, I don't even know why we try. The most powerful wizards can be found in a zoo. You know, at least he, uh... I never went back and killed her. I never went back and killed the dragon. Can we stop confirmed? Uh, you need to confirm uh, the demon. Ha ha ha. Hashtag he's gone. He has chosen peace. I guess all that's left to do now is enter up Toyota High School so I can finally meet the love of my life. Ah, ah. Ooh, how the fuck did you do that? Do what? Oh, hiya gozaimasu. Oh, hiya gozaimasu. Swing in the Among Us Morbius Among Us sus. So, uh, why are you here exactly? Oh god, the game actually prompts you. I really gotta think about this one. <laughs> I'm also in the business of killing God. I want to restore the good old-fashioned values upon which we used to rely. Is that a bad thing? For you. Now, are you going to join or not? Oh god, she doesn't know I'm a sub. Wonderful. <laughs> Your first mission is to kill my brother, Satan. You can find him inside his volcano. Are you trying to kill me? Don't come back until one of you is dead. Well, I guess that's it then. Time to take the elevator so I can talk to my wait. sleep paralysis demon. Wait, 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 wait. I don't- I did Ronnie's quest. I got Ronnie's ending. I don't remember any of this, guys. Is my brain just broken? Greetings, Tarnish. Oh god, not him. It is I, Blade! Brian Ooh, woo. from Family Guy. Please leave me alone. I'm not really here right now, so please- God damn it, it's an answering machine. Please record your message. Finally, it's time to continue playing the game. And to get to the aforementioned volcano, we must first ascend. We have to elevate our consciousness so I can have my date with Ronnie Senpai. Fortunately for us, there is an elevator. <laughs> oh Thank my god. god. The Mountain of Death is wheelchair accessible. You just gotta watch out for the uh, falling rocks. I'm beginning to get the impression that I'm not wanted here. So oh my god, I hated that. Large elevator, custom built and designed for the new American male. And the elevator was so confusing because you have to go and get two different parts but they don't tell you this and i don't remember them ever telling you this and then suddenly you have to go get two parts and to go to the next area and i don't understand why the game never told me this place our keys in the ignition like a sedan welcome every pony bazinga to the altus plateau land of the fourth demigod and his magic tree house i originally meant to go to the volcano immediately but this area is the world's biggest set of dangling keys there are two paths we can take to traverse this area the road of proper upright civilization or the forest of immaculate pain you know i did both of them but this one is funnier welcome everyone to the worm people dimension a region totally unique in how it decides to kill me you see the inhabitants have a special status effect called death and the effect of death is that it kills you rather painfully and uh there's quite a few of them my favorite example is definitely Wormface, who was called that for no reason all of i would love to know 
like the lore behind the worms. His attacks are basically instant kills. I think it could be better to take the stealthy approach here. Hey guys, Maxor here, and today we're gonna be sneaking into Big Shell. Raiden, you have to stop the Facebook algorithm. It's giving people burn downs. So after navigating the Impaled Jail, or just teleporting past it, because you can do that, we continue exploring Bikini Bottom so I may find the maniac. Just don't turn around on the bridge because, uh... He is there. So for the next part of our journey, we make our way to the Windmill Village, which is, uh... Uh... This windmill village was really cool. I really like the craziness of it. Again, I would love to know more about it, what inspired it. Apparently a fun time. You know, I may be a fan of older women, but this is a bit much. These bitches really <laughs> do be reenacting the plot of Midsummer in the local retirement center. Honestly, this area is pretty dope as long as you- I love the flowers, don't too. Don't worry, women are very easy to calm down. So with our domestic situation now under control, we walk for three seconds until the boss just kind of approaches you, just like mm -hmm. a DOA. You stand. Welcome back, everyone, to the official IGN walkthrough. And today we're going to be <laughs> fighting Slenderman. Gotta collect those eight pages. His attacks are fast, really fast, and his combos are longer than my video schedule. If you mm -hmm. ever think you're safe against this boss, think harder. This man goes harder than a police officer in the Black Sea. And to make things... I, the first time I beat this guy, I actually beat him on horseback. Things worse, we have a second phase, which made me scream audibly. Finally, the spaghetti coat. I haven't really fought a boss Thank that required an exorcist before. But thankfully, the priest was better at the game than me, so, uh... He fucking parried! That's not the last time we're gonna see him, although I wish it was. So with Friedrich Fastbear once again confined to his pizzeria, we approach the fabled gate of healthy eyeballs, and after being welcomed very nicely by the what residents, was in that we gate? catch a glimpse of our oh. next destination. The next destination hurts my eyes. All you have to know is that I really want to get there, because I am a moth, and also this anime girl. Naturally, my first instinct was to head to the front door, like the feds outside my house, but these instincts were not- First instinct, never go front door. Always find the back door. Back door, always, always. Always. Also, some people say my videos are too fast, so here's a dog. So instead of whatever that is, we need to take the side route to get in. Mm -hmm. I have to skulk cantankerously towards my devilish teeds. But upon reaching the back rooms, we find that the way is blocked by the dreaded, mm -hmm. most powerful enemy of the entire game. That's right, no. the copy paste key is back, and this time he's tired of my shit. Now he is lightning. This battle is really difficult, not because the moveset is new, but because I have exhausted my horse jokes. To put this another way, he's tougher than my dad and hits harder than his belt. Not much is different this time around though, except for the damage. That is very new. This is just like my Redmi Note 11 Pro when I criticize the Chinese government. Overall though, this boss is a very cool reskin and a mm -hmm. literal gatekeeper for the I content agree. ahead, which is why I decided to exploit him using my horse, just like the Mongols. Absolutely peak game design right here. I'm very- You're supposed to fight him on a horse. He on horse, you on horse. You're supposed to fight each other on horseback. It's not an exploit if you can do it. Impressed. One second, guys. I need to answer. As long as you have horseback, you are not exploiting. You are utilizing it. If they don't want you to use horseback, they take the horseback away. My phone. So with the evil lies of capitalism out of the way, it's finally time to head inside. This is what we've been building up for for 13 entire minutes. And when I got there, I was so taken aback by what I saw that I fell off a cliff and died. Great start. <laughs> Oh. Welcome everyone to Listerine, royal capital, a land that pleases the eyes and destroys my ears. The sound of the Smurf Jamboree is fucking inescapable. We're gonna hear it for the rest of the level in the oh form my of my God. tinnitus. Look at this shit. Look how fucking big it is. And yes, we can visit- This place is so cool looking and it's filled with horrible, horrible horrors. All of that, the entire city. Do you see that dragon? You can climb it. These enemies, they can climb me when I am six feet under. Enter the buildings, peruse the streets, find new enemies and die to them. We've got a little bit of everything here in Portland, Oregon. This game is Dark Souls 4, 5, and fucking 6. So I ask mm -hmm. again, are the developers okay? Do they sleep? So after our encounter with Band Class, we move throughout the city, becoming acquainted with its welcoming residents. And there are so many different paths that it's actually hard what to talk about. Fight? You can go down the streets and die, go through the storm drain and be dragged to the depths of hell where the Catholics go. Or you can go to the bad side of town and die to the exploding worm. I hesitate to call this a level because this is a goddamn experience. It is truly impressive how you can edit like this. Like, it's really impressive. I, I like, when I edit and I put, like, a GIF in something or I add some text, I'm like, wow, that was so much work I put in. Wow, this is, this is just...
craziness. Experience. Just don't enter this innocuous well because you'll have to fight the poo and piss men. Seriously, this is an entire dungeon in and of itself, and it's more convoluted and confusing than a woman. I want to get off Mr. Miyazaki's wild ride. Please let me see my family. But that I is like a story the well. for uh, probably never because it's guarded by the demigod of incest. I will have to deal with him later, preferably after he stops dealing with me. So once I finish up Bug! the garden and becoming one with the graveyard, we ascend to the next level of consciousness and begin making our way to the palace above. It's pretty beautiful, but I would suggest installing railings because I am stupid. And also this anime. Speaking of which, here's the uh, next boss. He just <gasps> kind of appears there. Gotta find He's my nemesis, chat. He's my nemesis. I hated him so much. This one. Not the later Godfrey. Because that says Godfrey. Not the later guy. This one. This little mother... The first Elden Lord. He would do those pause things. He would do the stomp and then wait and then attack. The boss after this one? Easy. I beat it like fourth try, fifth try maybe. This guy? Ooh. Fight Casper the unfriendly piss. Now I could get into this boss, maybe talk about how he helped my insides experience fresh air, but he is uh, very phoned in and we're going to get quite familiar with him later. And also he uh, has a stand, so that's how you know he's gay. Since this boss is technically a memory, we're just gonna forget that he exists. Yes. Maybe we should have done that during the fight. So all that's left to do now is get into the giant tree so I can finally kill God. I've always had a grudge against that guy. After all, he made the British Isles, and some crimes cannot be forgiven. Fair. Ah, if it isn't my old friend, the tarnished who gets no bitches and stacks Margaret! no How are you alive exactly? How are you still single? Once <laughs> I called the demigod's family. But that was before I became racist. Though your tenacity deserves praise, it is for naught. For I have never lost a debate. What the fuck is wrong with you? Cancel culture strikes again. This Margaret was oh easy. Oh god, this fight is good. Like, really fucking It's good, good. but easy. I sign up to play Sekiro today. That quirked up white boy do be busting it down sexual style, and his secret is methamphetamine. This shit is fast. Very, very fast. I think Faster I like it because it's fast. Prison. So fast that the hammer doesn't even wait for phase two. They call him Home Depot DoorDash because he's delivering the tools straight to you. Also, yes, I can make- I like fast battles. Fast battles, I good at. I good at fast. I good and fast. His weapon change color at will. It's like a speed run for epileptics. But what makes this fight difficult is not just the speed, not just the mobility, and definitely not just the damage, although there is a lot of that, but just how many fucking moves this man has, and all of them have different attack speeds, so have fun with that. This time around, we've got daggers. This is when I discovered that I did not equip anything to my character. I had none of the perks equipped at the I discovered, and then I did that, and then I became OP. Hammers, spears, a lot of swords, and a little bit of trolling. I remember when Dark Souls <laughs> bosses were just an obese man. We were so young. But this does beg the so question, young. why was Morgoth just hanging out in front of Stormvale? Was he getting his groceries? Did he use a VPN? The only assumption I can make is that he just really hates you, and yeah, I can <laughs> fucking feel that. I also hate me. So to come out on top, we've got to remain quick, brace the inside of our asshole and to verify our online sources with correct documentation because this is the hardest boss so far and the easiest boss for the rest of the game. So whether we're delivering pizza or attempting deicide, Morgoth will bring you the Home Depot experience whether you're ready or not. And the answer is usually not. Music slaps. That fight was the fucking ball. <laughs> it was a great fight. It was a hard fought battle, but now it is time for me to claim my rightful throne. Whoa, Fuck, whoa, I'm whoa. going to make God pay for this. All we have to do is go through the uh Oh, this probably has an explanation, but something tells me I'm not going to like it. Oh well, time to go. My actual objective is worse than this. Much, much worse than this. I don't remember what we have so, to do uh, at this point. Shout out to Punishing Grey Raven Yeah, that's again. great. Look, Max I need Survives help getting into the glow stick music. tree. Do you have Hi, any shears? Oh, why didn't you say so? No reason in particular. Nah, don't worry about him. He's, uh, <laughs> doing stretches. 
for the next 5,000 years. What? Anyways, you need to uh, burn the tree. Excuse me? Burn you need the to tree? Go to a giant mountain and burn someone to death. I want that shit to look like a road flare. You are scaring me. The pain is immense and without limit. How about I just go kill Satan instead? You cannot run from me. I can run. I can Welcome go wherever I want. Welcome to the Mountain of Agony, both in the lore and in gameplay, but mostly gameplay. Home of the oh fifth demigod, God. Satan, literally just Satan, Lucifer, the big D, if you will, who has made his home inside of a literal volcano okay, where he I beat intends him. to commit blasphemy in peace. I was just thinking that boss doesn't look familiar at all. Just one problem. We gotta climb that shit ourselves, and the main way up is, uh... A ladder. A little bit linear. I call it the Habsburg family tree because this shit is a circle, one with a higher population of apes than Twitter.com. My favorite part was the horrifying <laughs> darkness of my Appalachian camping trip. Something is after me, but I don't know what it is. Now, don't get me wrong, there's still a lot to discover, but half of it is igneous rock, and what remains is a bit of special. Oh, Just no. gotta take out this enemy over here when suddenly bird jump scare. It feels a bit like every level collaborated to make this one. We've got mm -hmm. people, monkeys, spastic robots, and you better believe that the hands are back. Yep, we the even hands. get to see the um the handyman himself. Yep, the hands. Out of hand this time. You could say that I have my hands full. This is hands down the stupidest joke in the video. So after climbing up a little bit, you know, three ladders in a row, we gaze over a cliff I remember where this. patches just breaks my fucking skeleton. Guess I have to climb all the way back up. The top of- I don't remember patches being here, but I- my memory is bad. The mountain is really fun though, especially when my computer decides to work. I didn't kill this boss, I ran away. It's like Disneyland for Victorian peasants or just Yugoslav war criminals. I think Satan might be up to something. It's just a guess though. So after three days of assorted underseen mischief making, we finally arrive at the Volcano Manor. <gasps> but at that size, it's more like a volcano gated community. Little did I know what I was getting into, starting with the um, Red. You know, like all the flags this is giving me. I feel like I'm inside of a gaming PC. Maybe this woman can give us more info. Hello, Tarnished, and welcome to the Red Manor. Feeling creative today, aren't we? I am the virtual YouTuber of this mansion. <gasps> I am the And this is Gug. Gug. Gug is in pain. Aren't we all? Anyways, can I interest you in joining the forces of Satan? Mousy! We offer coupons. For what exactly? Mostly funerals, but sometimes Tesco. Well, you know what? I do want to attack God, and the mood lighting here is sick as fuck. Where do I sign? Oh, you don't sign. You mm -hmm. kill. What? We crave Murder. innocent blood, Traveler, and I expect <laughs> a sufficient donation. After all, you are what you eat, and I am a child at heart. I think boop, I chose boop. the wrong voice actor. Hail Satan! Well, I guess since I chose <laughs> Satan now, my outfit needs to get a little edgier, and my weapons need to become a little veggier. Potatoes aren't <laughs> the only things that these can Ooh. feel, and as a fresh recruit to the Army of Darkness, I now have access to the office break room. Yeah. It is surprisingly nice, so long as you avoid the souls of the damned. I do not care who the IRS sends, I am not paying taxes. Also, half my fellow demons have scoliosis. So, uh, let's just collect our first target. You know, instead of talking to them. And if I'm going to kill the innocent, I might as well do it with some chill beatings by Dr. Yeah, J. Yeah, kill the to. innocent. I really enjoyed the assassins missions. They were fun. I think we might be the bad guys. Just kidding. I don't <laughs> think. Oh shit, wrong door. Congratulations, traveler. You have proven yourself my finest sin. My sins are unforgivable. Oh, whoa. You get to meet Satan now. No, oh, what's the occasion? Dinner. Oh yeah. Can I leave? I'm now? hungry. Fun. Uh, hi there, Satan. Did you hi, fall from heaven? Hi, Satan's butthole. Hey guys, Maxor here, and today we're gonna be trapped in, um, hell. Yeah, so it turns out war crimes and orgies are sins, don't ask. So now that we're in hell, I get to meet all of my favorite heroes, such as Ronald Reagan, and also all the landlords that Mal killed. But to navigate this new landscape of fire and brimstone, we must venture into the many circles of hell, each one complete with their own trials and punishments, but mostly punishments. Now as for me, I was sent to the circle of greed for what being a YouTuber, and my punishment <coughs> is continuing to make this video. It mm -hmm. is four in the morning. Now the first thing you see in this level, and I mean the first thing, is an anger direction. This tells us that we are in the circle of lust, where all the Genshin players reside. You know, I'm a really big fan of, uh, Sugma Kokomi. Boy, I sure 
sure to love, love being surrounded by women. Genshin Impact video very soon. I just gotta turn this corner and, uh... Why is he just standing there? Well, I'm sure he won't be bothering me, uh, anytime later. Oh my god, it's him, the Caprese Demon. Now, for our next stop in every yes, day he's ever made, it. we're heading into Hell's Assisted Living Center, which is filled with unbaptized infants and the disabled. It was at this moment that I knew I was not being punished, but that I was oh. the punishment. Also, Jesus Christ, this is darker than Ethiopia. After which, we find ourselves in the Circle of Gluttony, because the residents are a bit, uh, a bit sluggish. I know, very funny stuff. It's time for some fun volcano facts with Maxor. Did you know that lava cannot hurt you as long as you are backstepping? Try to do it in real life. Actually, at this point, the Wait. lava is more of a suggestion. I didn't know you could walk on the lava. Summer enjoyers be like, at least there be no snow. Oh boy, I sure do love taking a walk in the great state of Arizona. So after we're finished navigating the, um, kinky neighborhood. The more you know! We head into the next circle of hell, the heresy, which is accessed when I pull a bridge out of the room temperature lava. This is where God puts all the papists after being dragged into the storm drain. <gasps> this is where the roly poly scrotum boy is. He does the roly poly scrotum boy attack. There's like multiple clips. I hate this guy so much. Their Sisyphean punishment is that they have to get laid on Gmail. Delete every other website. You have to fuck and suck on Gmail. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll Him. be a mass to steal the wine. The foreskin. Oh, the roly poly boy attack. Ah, oh, I hate him so much. Hey guys, welcome back to my 600 pound death. And on today's episode, we're going to be fighting the skinniest Reddit mod. This is not what I meant when I said I wanted jiggle physics. I think this boss may have had a few too many uh, communion wafers. How many of those do you have to eat before it's considered one entire Jesus? This is your body broken for me. Now, unlike the other foreskin brothers, the absolute girth of this man might make you think we're in for a slower fight, but you are wrong. That would make the game easier. He is even faster than that, and that just makes me go from depressed to impressed. And just like last time, his second face is absolute body horror. Genuinely just the scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. Holy Please consult Molly Polly scrotum boy attack. I hate it so Your doctor much. before engaging in any Nico Kato maxing. I think that, uh, I think I'm gonna be here for a few more minutes. Mm. Finally, the bloated design. Body positivity. No, I have body negativity. Also, holy shit, this music goes hard. This is an absolutely inappropriate boss the music is great. of a Walmart. I think it's about time that we shave off some of that excess skin. Come on, do it. Give me your skin. If you are comfortable Bug. in your own flesh, you should pull it off. So now that I've officially shot Biggie Biggs, we can finally grab the um... Uh, and continue on our route towards the average Californian summer. Me being sent to hell, they forgot to take my Bluetooth speaker away. That's right, we're finally here. The heart of the beast. Home of deceitful serpents and their evil minions. You know, Washington. Also, Boy, uh, them, guys. More ladders. But honestly, ladders. it's a bit, uh easy to get lost in here. Personally, though, I don't think there's much here that we haven't already talked about, besides the, uh... The Egged One. Just your standard- Did I fight that? I don't remember fighting the Egged One. ...committee of child skinners. So, we're just gonna teleport... ...straight to the boss, which is the actual way you do it because of the reasons why. All right, Satan, I've served you for too long. Now prepare to feel my- Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I did? I don't remember this. Welcome everyone to Doom Internalizing My Abuse. And today we're going to be fighting the uh We're going to be uh uh we're going to I remember fighting Snake Boy. It wasn't too bad. I don't remember him pissing me off very much. To Google how to kill him, because as it turns out, the reptile exhibit is in need of some heavy oh, ye, ye, ye. of which I am You have to do the Special thing, guys. Special thing. You need the special thing. I'm an expert. The serpent hunter is, and I Did quote, on some do? anime shit. How a weapon of mass destruction that? specifically built to kill just snakes. You know, like a secretary bird. It's also, uh, three feet from the entrance. That's mm -hmm, like giving mm -hmm. chocolate out in a dog pound. God may give mm -hmm. me his toughest battles, but so too do we get his largest gun. We mm -hmm, just went from storm mm -hmm. ruler to storm meter stick. This fight is the coolest shit I've ever seen. It is so satisfying to use this weapon, and the damage is absolutely mm -hmm. biblical. My favorite part was when Kane beat his brother to death with a rock. The only drawback <laughs> is that you are too strong, and dodging him is a little easy because the snake will signal mm -hmm. every attack by mm -hmm. pocket. But if mm -hmm. I had to choose a boss to be easy, this one is pretty fucking up there. And mm -hmm. trust me, I know about fucking up. Just ask the war crime trials. 
I have something to admit, guys. I didn't really kill anyone in the war. I only kill people like you tomorrow. But as for this boss, his difficulty does not get in the way of the fun. Of which, yes, he's fun. Game. I think the best attack is the one where he slimes me at the Kids' Choice Awards. Plus, I am always <laughs> down for animal abuse, especially after the animal abuses me. So, with that out of the way, I think it's about time that we graduate this noodle from endangered to extinct. Oh, Jesus. Aren't you dramatic? He dead. Or? Demigod of Mount Gelmir, number 15. Praetor Riker. <laughs> It appears that you are trying to cut off my pet snake, so in return, I will now cut off yours. The last thing you want on your journey to hell is, is to fleshy join the sword. As family, but as it turns out, that might be what you get. Oh my fucking god! It's finally him! It's Satan! I'm your biggest fan! Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, <clears throat> welcome everyone <laughs> to the second phase of life, also known as death. And today we're going to be fighting the human centipede along with everyone he's ever consumed. That's right. This entire time we were participating in the world's most complicated buffet. Not to mention mm -hmm. I'm carrying the souls of four entire demigods, so I just delivered Rikard his fucking pizza. But if you mm -hmm. want to get eating, first you have to get eaten, buy an immortal snake, and live on him like a tumor. That's called making a deal. Now as for the gameplay, it's um, a little <laughs> intense, you know, kind of spooky, kind of makes me cry. Because this boss, on top of his normal moveset, can use every snake attack, just like Metal Gear Solid. It's a really fun, it's a really fun boss. He still is not too bad. He's a little, probably increased the difficulty a little bit. <gasps> But that isn't even the dangerous part. That happens when he unleashes the 50 goddamn explosive skulls at the loudest possible volume and then dips my screen into a vat of hot oil. I guess mm -hmm, hell was just mm -hmm. built on a missile system. I could not tell you what's happening on the screen right now. <laughs> the best way I can describe this fight is that it gives brain damage, just like playing Valorant, but in a good way, unlike playing Valorant. Even still, this Fun battle fact, is not about that. Is it is witch. all about the Therefore, spectacle. Therefore, she the gets magic power from either the world itself or Satan. You can probably guess which one she picked. <laughs> yes, I get power from nature itself, of course, of course, not Satan. Weaponry, and of course, the violence. It is a gimmick fight done absolutely correct, even if it hurts my eyes a bit. But if this fight gets one thing right, it is definitely style. And while this battle may be long, you know, like a, like a, like a cat, mm -hmm. goddamn does it deliver. I wonder, I wonder, Axel. Me down, pulling me down. Burn me to the ground. Um. Man, you two are a match made in hell. Unless Satan is also a goober. Hey, so, uh, I might have killed Satan. You fucking what? Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, where did she go? Gug. Oh. Gug? She's eating what? Why does she eat Satan? Why did Iron... Is that how Iron Mouse became Satan? Is this lore accurate? Is this how Iron Mouse became Satan? But why does she eat the snake? Bye. Why does she eat the snake guy? I want to know. I want to know. I want 